Welcome you all to Ailing's Analytics Workshop. Uh, in this world of going from dashboards and reports to insights, to actions, to dollars, analyzing it in, in whatever tool of choice, you know, whether it is Excel or whether it is going into advanced analytics tools, this world is analytics. One quick note is 80% of business problem could be and should be solved using simpler techniques, simpler techniques of correlation, trend, sizing, and so on and so forth. Why is that? Um, advanced analytics techniques are very, very powerful when they can be applied. But they are also resource and time intensive. It lends itself to a better ROI and quicker turnaround. Most of the time, business is moving. 2006 recommendation that challenge came out 2008 by the time the model comes in people have behavior of seeing movies have changed because a lot of times once people get comfortable with predictive analytics and advanced techniques it's like a hammer looking for a nail <laughs> they want to solve and I've done this myself you know when I first got into business world I wanted to solve every problem with the most advanced techniques I had that w I got a kick out of it right analytics in my mind is not just about cool models it is about how do you have impact in the organization how do you impact the decisions in the organization with data so this is our uh, our five steps step method um, for structured decision making call it bother it's an acronym for these five steps you know business question understanding what the problem is laying out a plan with hypothesis with hypothesis getting into the data collection and then deriving insights and and then closing the loop with your uh, and making recommendation but interestingly all throughout you have two technical two tracks one is the technical track we just talked about you know how do you really produce insights but also the software aspect so briefly analysis plan again you're doing this because you're you know you're building alignment with folks you're narrowing down the scope uh, and then as it's also a good time and very important for predictive analytics model because it's a resource and time intensive thing and when do the business need it by, how many, and thereby, what do you need to do on your internal team? How many people, uh, you know, how many people or resources are going to work on, how are they going to work on, how are they going to coordinate, what are the dependencies? All of that is happening at, uh, in the analysis plan. And in, in specifically for our, um, for a predictive model, you know, you're, you're going to define the analysis, analysis goal, you're going to collect hypothesis because you're going to, and uh, how are you going to drive your audience so that not only have you built the model, it's cool, but they are going to actually use it. You know, they're going to use your response model to launch the next credit card uh, mailing they do. Right? There are very few applications where you need to use, and that's like point, I would say even less than sub 1%, where you need to use the entire data set. Why would you not use the entire data set? One, it's very big and huge, and, and you don't necessarily need it. After a point, see, the, the, the accuracy is a function of sample size, but after a while, the accuracy saturates. And we'll look at some of that. So by sampling, you are able to magnify the effect that you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for response rate, credit card response rate. Linear regression, as we talked about, is, is when your uh, dependent variable is, is a continuous uh, variable that you can represent like customer lifetime value or cost of acquisition. And your, your approach is you're trying to find a linear relationship between these independent variables and that what you're trying to that which you're trying to predict, the independent. Logistic regression is a special case of linear when the uh, dependent variable is a zero or one. So like churn, this is, is this person going to be churn, churning or not? We'll, uh, we'll give you guys the data. Take out your laptops and uh, start looking at the data, but take a few moments before you um, start opening the laptop. What are you going to do now? You have the data. You've cleaned, I mean, you've cleaned the data. You're going to look at it. You're going to analyze it, right? <coughs> How are we going to analyze data? 